Come on in, Dave. Take the risk. Hang on, have you got a Tasmanian license? I've got a license for the world. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'll get the other side then. OK, mate, let's go for a drive. Nice to be in the car here again. Have this brownie's bloody good. Oh, I um, mate. Oh, why do so many cars beep at you now? I know. Cars tell you what to do. Remember the old days, cars didn't tell you what to do? You got in and you were the master. So, mate, where's it all heading, you know? Where's it all heading? I, I, mm. I follow the cyclists and I think that's glorious. And uh, I look at the brain bus and people are there asking questions. I looked last night in Devonport and there were lots of people, patients who'd probably never heard this story before. Mm. Mm. And they were a bit shy at first, but, gee, they got into it at the end and they were asking lots of great questions. How yeah, did you feel it, about last night? Oh, it's a, it's a great question, Dave, because I've, I've spoken to a few people who were in the room yeah. Uh, up the back. Yeah. And and the general feel was that that was pretty. It was hard to get the group engaged. Yeah. Uh, but from where I was standing up the front. Yeah. I mean, I would never expect a, a room full of people with persistent pain to be moving much. No. Right. And I thought it was great. I thought they were nodding in the right places and they laughed or smiled at the right yeah. place. And yeah. Apparently. This is really good. Is really good. Um, yeah. So I felt really good about it. Mm. I think that during the panel, we it's a very fine line because we want to validate the, the experiences of people. That's right. But we want to make sure it doesn't drag down into a... That's right. How horrible is this how story? How horrible is this? That's right. But no, our panels, panels work well when you... Because panels should be there to listen to the people, to say, we're listening to you. Yeah, and right. That's, that's number one. But I thought that... Um, was really, really good. Where is it heading? Well, who knows, but it certainly is heading. I, I feel so excited about the local pain educator programs. I mean, when we're now, you know, we're getting the community engagement project started, getting the networks, and it really feels like there's, a, there's an enthusiasm in the community, in the funding agencies. Yeah. And uh, the dude that was there last night, uh, husband of the physio yeah uh, and his points about you know leveraging the fact that we're we're in an election year yeah. and stuff like that and the, there was there was immense agreement in that public forum about the feeling of being left left out Yes. Rural people being forgotten. And this is a really common theme, right? That's a really common theme. And, you know, I must admit I sense that in the public uh, forum because oh. when we, <laughs> Sorry about that. when you guys started to, to talk, I thought, hang on, is there a slight resistance to this? And then I thought, hang on, most of them probably haven't heard it before unless I've got to mm. a few really skilled clinicians up here, but there's just... No, there's, there's just yeah. not that support in this. Yeah. Uh, Although I must say, when I was chatting with people, uh, I didn't even turn that one on. When I was chatting with people beforehand, yep. I always like to sort of say good day. Yep. Met a woman with uh, a condition, I won't remember the name of it, but she's only the sixth person in the world to be diagnosed with this particular condition. Okay. In addition to that, she's got uh, Erla's. Oh, thingy yeah, syndrome. That, yes, uh, not the mind. real name. Yeah, Hurler Stanlos <laughs> or something. Else. Yeah, yeah. God, there's so many syndromes. Hurler yeah, Stanlos. Is that like a vomiting? It sounds like a vomiting thing. Oh, no, I you think know, it's, it's a hypermobile. Yeah, it's, it's a, a joint and, joint condition. But it has thing. a lot of other uh, dislocates issues, a lot yeah. of joints, yep. etc. And then a long list of other chronic pain yeah. syndrome diagnoses. And I, I said, welcome. That's great. And great to see you here. What are you, what are you hoping to get out of it? And she, <laughs> she looked at me and she said, well, so long as no one talks talks any of this shit about the brain. <laughs> so, right, here we go. I know that she was there till the end, uh, though, and I thought she was listening. She stayed, and actually, uh, yeah. uh, uh, her husband came and chatted to me afterwards. And um, But, you know, Jack's talk about really em embracing the lived experience and being... I, I loved what Jack said about the curiosity. That, yeah. well, that is key, right? You've got to be curious. Well, you've got to be curious. You know, somebody said to me, because, you know, you... You know, I would like to wear colourful clothing, Roz, and I'm, I'm, I'm fairly do. polychromatic. And, um, right, and, right. and someone said, why do you wear so much coloured clothing? I said, well, I've always worn coloured clothing and right through my clinical life. And I said, I've always wondered, wanted, when the patient comes to see you next time, just to be curious. Yeah, just, right. what's, what are they wearing next? Because a curious brain is just open 
open to other information coming in so to make it sticky. Wow. Do you reckon that one can uh, conjure curiosity? Like if, if let's say you're, you've got a brain that's been producing protective outputs for yeah. 20 years. Yeah. Keeping you safe, getting your bigger, your buffers bigger on everything, right? Yes, not yes, just, yes. not just pain. Yes. And you almost, by definition, you lose curiosity. You want, you don't want to push out anywhere. Yeah, that's right. Is it feasible that one, one can conjure it? One can conjure it, and I'm damn sure. I am sure that good health professionals can help patients conjure that. Yeah. So, what would you do? Let's say, well, let's you know, take this person last night. Twenty-five year history of sixth diagnosis and hurlers thing. Yep. And you say, try and be curious. And so I, uh, I, yeah. I try everything. What would you say? Uh, okay, that's a. I mean, it's a hard, it's, it's a stupid hard question. question. Really, Where, where'd you get that question from? Focus yeah, on so your driving. I pulled it out of the yeah. question. But, anus. but you know, with with uh, with time and enough uh, face-to-face interaction, you can, I believe, conjure it up. And uh, and um, I think you can't really conjure it unless you've got some goals set. So within the goal setting for the future, then you can come and conjure it up. And if somebody has this notion that that the brain works in a distributed way, and therefore, of course, context is so important, and there are just so many contexts, uh, the good and bad linking to a pain experience, mm. that's what you play with, and there's curiosity around. Curiosity dwells, I think, in that um, notion of context. So I've got two questions I'd like you to have a go at answering. Oh, gee, Oz. Why do you get my questions? Last night you said something that I hadn't heard you say before. Mm-hmm. Goals. How you don't really like that word, or it's. Do you remember saying something like this? Yes, I did say that. What did you mean by that? Goal. We were talking about goal setting in the panel, and there were it was some agreement because it's probably one of the hardest things uh, patients and clinicians, health professionals, actually do. It's one of the hardest things, and to me, a, a goal is um, well, it's an activity you do, and because there's so many bits and pieces that that, that uh, drive or construct a pain state, then there's so many, so many little activities or things that you can do to help master, to help conquer mm-hmm. that. So rather than have, rather than have, look, I've got 74 goals for you. Yeah, right. I think, hey, here's. There's a number of activities we're going to get you doing, yeah. and here's how we'll conquer them. I still think you need that long-term, medium-long-term goal, but within it, I think. So it's not the, it's not the the word like I think Amanda, someone there said, yeah. uh, she tries not to mention it. And when she said that, I was reminded a little bit of the the uh, the motivational interviewing people. Well, Mark Jensen's great yeah. quote of "Don't tell people to try to do something." because yeah. it implies they'll fail. And I, I just wondered about whether having a goal implies unattainability. I mean, it doesn't really, right? No. But I wondered if that was part of the resistance to it. To it, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And I know that, that they're, they're considered fundamental in, particularly for work cover and... And funda- but yeah, I, 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 fundamental, I think. Uh, uh, do you think we should... Hang on. How we be lost? Look I at the love view. these signs. What's, what's the signs? I say? love the signs that churches and schools have. Look. I always like to sort of think about them, Dave. Yeah, student drop off and pick up area. It looks like there's a cliff behind there, Lord. <laughs> Literal drop off. Yeah. Uh, a lot of lot of children have been dropped off. Oh, yeah, yes. Actually, you can tell. Yeah. The and school actually, looks pretty empty. There's some few old people who have yeah. gone there and just dropped off. Yeah. Mm. Now, it's this sign here. Parklands High School, making a difference every day for everybody, Dave. That's your. They're for making me. a difference for you and me. Good. And everybody. Right. Shall we like them on Facebook? Why don't we cover Parklands High School and put Pain Revolution there instead? Do a bit of graffiti. Making a difference. Yes. Every day for yes. everybody. Yes. We could probably. No, we can't yeah. cover up the letters. My next question for you is one that will involve a little bit more introspection. Yeah. As we cross past downlands yep. state. Uh, here you are, a uh, household name in the physiotherapy world, right? Like, like butter or sugar. Yeah, like butter or, or toilet. <laughs> toilet, more yeah. toilet. Or, uh, oh, 
Oh, that's the household word. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Will you do the dishes, please? Oh. That's right, another household word. Oh. And here you are putting so much energy and time and volunteer stuff into Pain Revolution. What's your... You said, where is this going? What would be your vision if... It doesn't have to be where it's going, but if you had a choice of what... Where where would it go if if you could control it and you had unlimited funds? Oh, unlimited un- funds. Unlimited funds. Now, that's and a really big, big question, and there's quite a few answers to it. Where would it go? Well, in the big, broad... Um, big broad thing we'd um, start running it in the big population centres be brave enough to do it around Brisbane Sydney Melbourne yeah, with unlimited funds you could actually do it in a number of places even overseas yeah, right. with unlimited funds we could bring in other other uh, people to help us because well, it's basically a bloody volunteer show at the moment yeah, it is. so to bring in 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 educationalists to to bring in uh, uh, strategists policy uh, policy strategists um, to even to bring into research teams along and see how the cyclists are doing and, and, and add to that yeah, right. to to really measure what what this we're is doing quite a vista by the isn't way isn't it lovely yeah. Loz? I, was I just don't getting, want to downplay the importance no, of what you're saying no but I was just saying, getting excited about about it because it is ex, it is exciting and other things that are just coming into my mind Loz, you know the one thing that really makes me hang on in, in this is is the mist the mist groups. Mm. And I often talk about them. The misgrips are the, the old people in the nursing home with, yeah, with, right. with pain. It's the young people where, where nothing, much is, nothing much is done. It's the, it's the people with stroke and MS and Parkinson's who have chronic pain, mm. which is actually quite, quite treatable. It's the, it's the adolescents who've got pain if they... And if you've got pain when you're 14 or 15 or 16, as you know, and it's been there for a while, you'll take that into later teens and early 20s. Yeah, right. You know, so we've got these other groups that have to have to come along, that we have to also come along. But that requires more resources, more people, more, 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 more money. staff. Yeah. Well, I, f- I feel like what's growing most, most quickly is the community... The, I guess the community of practice, the people who are saying, "I'm in." Yes. So I don't feel like it's a it's a person power limitation to to I guess achieve the vision. Yeah. Every Australian will have access to an nice understanding vision, and all that sort nice of stuff. Vision. Thank you, Wendy Timms, for that. Yeah, good, good on you, Wendy. Woo. Um, yeah, that's an interesting thing. Another group that came up for me when you were talking about these forgotten and vulnerable groups was uh, the people post cancer and during cancer. Oh, dear. Yeah. And someone came up to me after last night actually and started the conversation with a rather confronting yep. statement of three weeks ago I lost I lost my breast. Yep. And I said, Oh, that's disappointing for you or whatever I said yep. and she started talking about talking about would any of this stuff apply to me, she's got horrible she, yeah. neuropath, you know, neuropathy related pain yeah. and uh, I thought you know we have learnt a fair bit about uh, some of the complexities of that here, group uh, you're stopping here I said Juliet I thought it was my I wife know, driving but it's you lost we're, our relationship's really moving I, forward I, isn't I, it I know and you're driving well now you really picked uh, it up yeah well I, I was aware, oh hang on I think this might be a school with a statement could be or prison uh, do prisons have those things like uh, Maryvale Prison. Yeah. You'll die to get in here. You'll die to You'll get in here. Stay uh, in the bin or something. Yeah, that'd be a hard one if you had that job. I know. Of I know. encouraging sayings for yeah. prison billboards. Yeah. For maybe for relatives as they visit. There's another group. Prison. Prison group, yeah. We've got how what what proportion of people uh, in prison have persistent pain, I wonder. I wonder. Big chunk. So I go would back to that imagine. cancer one because was yeah. that you know as we know so many people are surviving. Yeah. Just uh, watch me do the rally drive over this. Oh no! Oh, what this? What bloody hell! You just not, you just made me slip a disc. You know, <laughs> lovely. I might get you to put it in later. I can put that back in. It's probably out. It's definitely out. Uh, yeah. Can, so post cancer. Well, I, my, I mean, my interest at the moment, as you know, is this post cancer group where. 
where people are saying, and this is what this woman said last night, saying, I really don't want to mention it because I was so lucky that they got it and I'm in the clear and yeah. I've survived cancer I don't want to complain about yeah. it. And um, Lauren did a, Lauren Heathcote did a great Didn't talk she? on this pain Adelaide. Just, it's, a, it's a massive problem. It's, it, it, it's under the radar. Oh, they're amazing vista. Yeah, look at that. Over there you can almost see Australia, the Northern Ireland over there. But, yeah. Yeah, what is that you can see? Uh, just the horizon, is it? Yeah, that's, Bumpy that's horizons. called the horizon, Loz. Bumpy horizon. You've obviously horizons. had to get in books for too long. That's a good name for a song. Yeah, Bumpy, Bumpy horizons. horizons. Yeah. I don't want to be lying to you. I could do a Peter Garrett voice for that. Bumpy <laughs> horizons. You need to be bald like me to be like Peter Garrett. I, I reckon a lot of people would suggest that I'm bald. No, no, no. Only those no, who yes. are taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> I, other people don't realise. So with the vulnerable and forgotten groups, yeah. this is an interesting thing to consider. Uh, if you think about finite resources, so we don't have limitless funds, mm -hmm. and we've got finite resources, then should we be putting our attention into the forgotten groups, or should we be putting it on the unforgotten groups who are getting messed over by current practice I think well that's a that's a um, that's an ethics question, question for right? the ethics and the economists another vista it? I know yeah. that we have to sort of start heading back but I've got no idea where we are right I went to Tasmania but that is like, that is spectacular I know right? that's I think, it's, I think it's up near Smith and oh. where we're going tomorrow which is going to be a really oh yeah that's that's circular head yeah. I reckon is it circular head it where is. Diane's look. our um, welcome to country person yeah, from up there circular, yeah, people. Is, so is this is this Bernie yeah. Okay, well, I'll just go down there. You go down there. Yeah. Cool. Now I want to ask you a question. Mm, and it's that? quite a personal question. Mm. And, um, cool. Good for you because... They're pretty good. Like, they come out, want to go to the toilet, and yeah. then I can... Is that what you're <laughs> going to ask me? Uh, no, but, you know, you, we've spoken together many, many times at lots of conferences and courses and, and things. And um, and <clears throat> last year, at the end of the, the Pain Revolution ride... Uh, when everyone comes together and we're exhausted and uh, a lot of labile, labile deep feelings. Yes, that's right. And <laughs> I was and sitting next to you. Away from tears. I was sitting next to you, uh, hearing you talk, and uh, it was a beautiful summary. But I've never seen so many tears flow out. And of me? Yes, they oh. flew out, and it even made me oh, have a little weep. I think it's called mirror neurons or something. Yeah, Gee, but, I, can um, do, I can do better than that. But uh, would you like just to share with people who might be listening to this what it's like to 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 finish something like this pain revolution week? Hmm. Well, um, the week. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't know what's going to happen this week, but yeah. um, the previous it two, if I think about really last well. last week, it, I went in very exhausted, yeah. uh, which is not a good plan, but just getting organised, as as many of us did. And I think I spend some, <laughs> some of the time on the bike, it's whispering in the back of my mind, just uh, immense gratitude for what people are doing and feeling a little bit like jeepers I hope no one gets injured mm -hmm. I hope no one gets injured and when everyone finishes safely that's a great that's, that's a great yeah, relief yeah, yeah. but I I think that most of my so the emotional stuff there the tears I mean I'm a great crier anyway um, our poor kids who have got the silver medalist, me, in the crying champion of the world. Oh, yeah. And the gold medalist. I never knew the beautiful you howled so much, Loz. You, you hold oh, no, I'm back good. when you're with me. I'm good. Yeah, well, basically, I don't have much care for you. Oh, right. Or, is that what it is? Yeah, or, or compassion it? or any of that it's sort of stuff. It's good to know that. Do you, just out of interest, do you think Bernie's behind us? Uh, yes. Right. Yes, yes. I might just turn in here and do a U-bolt. Yeah. Um, but I... It's, it's quite hard for me to articulate because it's deep in my belly somewhere, a sense that what we are all doing is a very good thing to do. And that we are all so, so cohesive about it, you know, so uh, committed. So there's so much for one of, you know, I understand it's, it sounds cliche, but there, there really is so much about this week that captures for me the very best of what a human in our context 
with our resources and our constraints uh, can do. Can do, yeah. And can, and can be, yeah. you know, like I, I, I think yeah. that's a fair bit of it. You yeah. see people, and during the week, people were facing down some of their own challenges. There was some I, demons face down, yeah. I had that day on the bike from Nowra to Canberra where I was in the front group yeah. and, I, and I didn't want to slow it down. Oh, yeah. And I, I ran at, you know, high 160 heart rate for yeah. three hours in the, in the red zone. Yeah. And at the end of that, I, I was a mess. My face was pinned to the needles. I couldn't stand up. I remember. And then what that triggers for me is, so why did I do that? Yep. Why, why? What is it about not wanting to slow the team down or... Slightly mad. Yep. Bit of, bit of personal growth there. Yep. Um, and I think everyone would say the week is transformative. And to be part of a group who are undergoing transformative weeks, yep. that's just really... A, an immense privilege and an well, indescribable it, privilege. It is. And just to to add something there, I often reflect on your statement. I wasn't here at the time. I might have been close by with some conference and they were talking about the latest pain science findings and stuff. And I remember you commented, well, bugger this, let's just get out and do something yeah. about it. And yeah. I often reflect on, on that. Get out and do something about it. Go and talk to the people with pain. Go and go and push those who are dinosaurs just get out and change something because it is changeable and um, yeah I, for me, I, I felt that strongly I was. remember that really really well that um, that conference and I actually said out loud without knowing I was speaking out loud I said enough enough and the person behind me said enough what and uh, that's when I realized I'd said it out loud but but my thought was really quite self self-reflective that here I was in the conference zone and we're you know we're adding stuff cool the field's moving forward slowly I think it's good stuff that is happening yeah but we're all we're all sitting there almost uh, just naive to the reality of people on descending spirals yeah not only on the descending spirals but people who if if we could get this stuff to them they would get off the descending spiral. Like yep. that, that's, I think that's the thing that really struck me, and it's time to get out there. And the fact that people have jumped at this, yeah. I reckon, shows how far behind <coughs> I was, yeah, really. The pe- that people wanted and yeah. the community support here in Tasmania. Because I think we've got nearly 1,500 people booked in for... for, for that's, Sam- that's a big chunk of Tasmania's population. It's amazing. And, and because they'll all, they've all got four, five, ten people they'll pass it on to. So yeah. this is going to be quite an impact, an impact here. Yeah, that, that's something I was mentioning to Trevor, who's been, been amazing. Great. Um, but to say the bums on seats is, a, is great. We've got... Per capita, we've doubled last year. Yeah. Um, but it's the penetration in the community. 30 community organisations who have all told their networks and yeah. I just yeah, I just feel like it's good. But but clearly I think it's it's good. Uh, I you, you I could have rephrased your question right into is any of that happening for you this year? All right, any of that. And it's so interesting from yesterday when we all started to come together. Uh, I can feel that I'm in. Uh, I'm negotiating a trajectory of uh, emotion, yep. conviction, gratitude, yep. concern, yep. worry, yep. European Cast. windscreen wipers, painful pain in the legs, know, yeah. And it, I, it's a bizarre space to be in. Um, but that whole, you know, the self-consciousness of. I mean, you must feel like this. So many people who are getting in on this are doing it because they've already been touched by the science in some way. Yeah. And they see it as they interact with their patients. It's a lovely term, just butting in, touched by the science. And it's interesting that the science has been, the science has been there. It's growing rapidly. Mm. And and you're touching people with science. And Mm. sometimes it's just... A few small little things, chunks that just get people going, you know? Yeah, so who knows where it will end, Dave? Well, but here we are, this is the end back. of your journey. We're back, look, look at all those paint, look at all Don't the coloured jerseys great, around. Yeah. yeah.